All right, Sean Hicks coming at you guys. It is Friday the 6th. I apologize, no video Thursday. And I didn't even do a free pick on the uh, winning free picks page. Just a lot of running around, things to do. So I apologize not getting uh, some tournament action up. But we'll talk about it. We're going to hit all the tournaments, especially what's coming up this weekend. Uh, we have, what do we got? Uh, Sunbelt, Summit League, CAA, all going uh, tomorrow. And real fast, listen, I had a Nevada future, and it uh, it lasted a whole, I don't know, five minutes. Excuse me, UNLV future. Down the drain, Mount West, see some upsets there. It happens. That's what March Band is all about. And I do have Hampton working. Uh, see how that goes. They got a win under their belts. We'll see how they do in uh, the SoCon. Um, in the Ohio Valley, we got P and... Murray, but P's my big one there. And, you know, Murray was about plus 120. So we got that going on. Missouri Valley starts today. Now, um, I put out Missouri State I got today. So I got a minus one. It's up to two. I sent it right up here. It was a six seed. They were picked to win the conference. So that would have been my pick to win it. I've Obviously, I, I moved on it in uh, regular action here today. So that would have been my play there. Um, Southern Conference, we got East Tennessee State, Furman, NC Greensboro. They're your favorites. They're your favorites in that conference. But I'm going to go a little bit. Listen, I mean, you're not really getting much return. So I guess 3-1 to one on Greensboro if you want. Uh, but I would look outside. If I'm looking for something a little more value, I take, listen, East Tennessee. They should win this. I know they're talking about them having an at-large already, but... You never know. You never know. But if I'm not going East Tennessee, how about Western Carolina, 18-1? to uh, This is from uh, the beginning of the week, though, at Will Hill. So numbers could have changed heading into uh, tip-off. Uh, NEC we talked about already. Uh, Horizon League, I told you we got the Ilshai working nice for us there, 12-1. to Summit League tomorrow. Um, looking at the Summit League right here, North Dakota. State plus 200, South Dakota State 210, South Dakota and Oral Roberts at 500, Omaha 2200, 2, North, North Dakota 34, Fort Wayne 72, Denver 16. Yeah, Denver's terrible, so cross Denver right off the list. Again, though, uh, South Dak State, North Dakota State's favorite, South Dak State maybe a little better. I don't know. Those are really the two teams there. Again, you put 100 on each, you're going to make a little money. I know it sounds stupid. You're making $35, $25. You know, but if you think the favorites are going to win, those two are the clear favorites here. And then you got 5-1 to one on, on South Dakota. Me, I have no real opinion. I'm going to try to find a, a game to hit in this, is in this uh, conference play tomorrow. But if I'm putting something down, I'm getting plus 200 on both. Uh, again, these moves I'm looking at right now, that's a circuit number right there. Uh what do we have here? Will Hill, two to one on North DAC and six to five South DAC State there. So, um, listen, if you could show profit, you get either one of those guys. They should win. They dominate the league. Show profit. I don't understand. I, I tell this all the time. Be happy with a day's pay. I know people are like, oh, you know, you know baseball some days. Oh, you went three and three. You only made uh, $65. Okay, take some dogs, whatever. You know, however the case may be, it breaks down. Uh, with fit, you know, three wins, losses, dogs, you know, sixty-five dollars a day, thirty-five dollars a day times ten, three fifty or six fifty. You know, multiply that out. You know, I say to people, I'm like, okay, you're not happy with two hundred and forty dollars a week, but you won't pay, say, three hundred dollars for a month or a thousand dollars for a year, but two hundred dollars is peanuts to you. What are you talking about? Be happy. You know, you got two faves. Clear favorites in the conference. They're both a plus money. Why wouldn't you want to make 50 bucks doing no work? That's like free money. I don't know. It's a mentality, though. Um, if you're a grinder, you can see it as an opportunity. You take it. Other people, you know, don't do it that way. They, they want to win a nickel, a dime, whatever the case would be, however they're betting. They don't like that small stuff. Uh, West Coast, we talked about. That's already underway. Again, Gonzaga should win that if I'm going outside the box. At BYU, maybe, since they already knocked them off. Uh, let's talk CAA. Hofstra, your favorite at 230. Uh, Northeastern, get, again, here we go. Talk about a six seed, and they're the second favorite at 330. What's that tell you? You know, jump on some Northeastern at plus 330. Um, William Mary, 795, I'm not liking. 
Uh, maybe Charleston at 680. Again, Hofstra, I like. 230, they're the favorite. And again, good plus money. But Northeastern plus 330, again, you're a 60 to plus 330. Don't, don't this, uh, this, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dismiss Ozmakers in their numbers. Uh, I talked about Missouri State today over in Indiana State. Indiana's a, like, whatever they have, a two seed in the conference here, or three seed for uh, Missouri Valley, and they're getting points from a six seed. You know, it's like when people see the uh, eight, nine games or 12, four games or whatever they are in the, the tournament, like, oh, oh my God, look at this. It's a 5 12 game, and uh, the 12's a dog. Well, yes, you know, go by the lines. That tells you, you need to know. don't worry about the rankings. We talk about that all the time. Rutgers the other night. I told you Rutgers on the video. Hi, Rutgers. One and a half point favorite over Maryland, who's ranked number nine in the country. Rutgers takes care of business. So don't fall into those kind of numbers, stuff like that. I mean, uh, the Sanford VMI game. So first I'm like, all right, I'll take VMI here. They're the higher seed. They're a higher seed favored by four over lower. So it was a 9-8 game in this conference uh, for, for the SOCON. And I'm like, all right, higher seed, I take VMI. I'm going to start my write up and I go back, I start digging. And, like, uh, what's the Sanford had won like 10 straight in a series or something like that? Like, 10 straight wins. The favorite has covered because, uh, I mean, Sanford had been fave, so we're on a good ATS run. And and here they're getting points, and they've won 10 in a row in a series. So, again, that's sometimes I had to flip my usual thinking where I'm taking a higher, the, the seed that's a higher seed, giving to the lower seed, based on the fact that I swept your season series already. I've beaten you 10 straight times. I'm getting points. So, sometimes, you, you know, I don't know, get a little off track here on the tournaments, but that's what you got to do sometimes. So, listen, Hofstra, clearly the favorite there. Northeastern, you're two. Uh, odd wise, and maybe thousand plus five fifty again. This is the three, but they're you know they're the second lowest after Hofstra. So look at the odds. The odds tell you who the books are think are the better teams. Sun Belt Fun Belt Arkansas Little Rock. Uh, they're at two ninety, but how about the three Texas State at plus two sixty. You know, South Alabama is 410, Georgia State 385, and everybody else in the thousands, 1,200, Georgia Southern, Appalachian State. I call it Appy State. People get offended. Appalachian, 3,000. Arlington, 3,000. Uh, Louisiana, 40,000 here at Circa. 30,000, Argy State. Coastal Carolina, 10. So, again, <laughs> your top seed is not even the highest of the best odds. It's Texas State. I'm going to grab a little Texas State. I'm going to grab some Little Rock, too, because they're the top dog, and they're almost taking back 3-1. to one. Why wouldn't we do that? You know, in this case, any of the top 3 to, to 60, you're not going to get it all back. I'm thinking you do three games of uh, 100 each, you'd, you'd almost break even there, you know? But uh, you'd really have to branch out and do top four with Georgia State at 385. And have either Alabama, Southern Alabama, or Georgia State went into to turn a little bit of a profit there. So let's not do that there. Um, for me in this conference, I haven't really looked much at it. Uh, I'm being honest with you. But odd wise here, Texas State tells me that's going to be the team I'm going to be looking to play a little bit because they're the favorite to win this thing. So always get a printout. You can find them on Twitter if you're not. Listen, real underscore Higgs is me on Twitter. Follow people on Twitter, you know, Sportsbook, Westgate, Circa, Will Hill, Fandle, all these places put up these things. Write them down. I'm looking at them on the screen, but I have some stuff written down. I got some printouts from, you know, Will Hill here at Ocean. And just break it down for yourselves. All right, who else are we missing here? A Northeast Conference we talked about, Ohio Valley Summit League, America East. We didn't get into that, right? Vermont, your favorite, minus 500. Excuse me, I had a yawn coming on. Uh, Stony, plus 580. Hartford, 3,000. NBC, 4,000. 4,500. New Hampshire, Lowell, 8,000. Albany, 12. Maine, 50. All right, Vermont's clearly the Catamounts, the class of this league. We know all about them. We've seen them. 
We talk about them. But you know what? I don't like Vermont here. They've, you know, show some kinks in the armor a little bit. They haven't really been as dominant as past teams here. I'm actually going to look at Maryland Baltimore County. Remember those guys? I think they pulled the old upset over Virginia. Playing well down the stretch. We know they could put a little run together, right? Why not plus 4,000 on a team like that? Uh, and listen, Stony Brook, plus 580, definitely worth a shot because once Vermont's out, these reshuffle. So Stony will have the home court. Plus 580 at home, definitely worth it. That's a nice money line play. Home team, you know, just to win. And you're going to be favoring a game, plus 580. Think about it. Think about it. Even if you want to go big dog on uh, NBC, Stony plus 580, I think, is live action. I think uh, Vermont, yeah. Would they have an eighty percent chance of winning? Sure, something crazy like that. They're minus five hundred. Tells you all you need to know. Who you thinks will win? But I'm calling upset there, people. I'm calling upset America East. I think that covered it, right? I think we got them all. Got them all done here today. I uh, will be back though. Uh, the big dogs. Oh, little yawn coming on. It's late. It's like eight, about eight thirty here. Long day, and I was rushing to get these up, so I apologize for that. But uh, all the big conferences. We'll be underway soon. We'll talk about them. And everybody's going to have an opinion in us, right? Everybody's, those are the things everybody knows from ESPN and Fox and CBS and watch them on TV. So that'll be up next. And uh, let's go. We're punching tickets tomorrow. I think we got tickets being punched. First shoes being handed out. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, a real underscore Higgs. Winning free picks is the page. And we'll be at the fan cave. Bally's AC that Thursday. Opening round. That's that's the first round. Forget that for, forget those first four games. Thursday. Bally's AC. Come say hello. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.